So I just came back from Toronto, Canada, and uh, apparently I missed all the fun. Uh, Rob Ford caught in another crack scandal. <laughs> no, 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 not the first one. <laughs> okay, we have apparently a second video now of him smoking crack in his sister's basement, which, by the way, is a classy way to do it. If you're gonna smoke crack, I mean, look, you call up your sister, you're like, hey, sis, wanna get loaded in your basement with a crack pipe? <laughs> apparently his sister is also a drug addict. Now they say, in the past, mm, there's apparently some video saying perhaps in the present. Uh, so let me quote uh, the Globe and the Mail, basically. Uh, uh, Globe and Mail, I should say, in Canada. The clip, which was viewed by two Globe and Mail reporters, shows uh, Mr. Ford taking a drag from a long copper-colored pipe, exhaling a cloud of smoke, and then frantically shaking his right hand. Now, I, I'm not a crack addict, so I don't know what that shaking of the hand's all about. I don't know if he burned himself. Uh, but they say this is interesting and different because in this one, he's using a long colored, uh, copper colored pipe, a uh, metal pipe, uh, as opposed to the last time he was smoking uh, crack with a glass pipe. Okay, just when you thought you knew all of Rob Ford's positions, switches it up on you. I'm gonna go metal this time. Now, uh, the Globe and Mail refused to buy the tape, which the drug dealer who was selling him the drugs apparently secretly videotaped with no audio and wanted to sell for six figures. Uh, but they did buy, and they say that they bought, a couple of still shots uh, from that where it appears that he is, of course, holding that metal pipe. Uh, now, we don't know that it's definitely crack. The drug dealer says it's crack. On the other hand, he's a drug dealer. Right? And uh, by the way, I mean, no honor among thieves. This guy trusts you to bring his crack to him. He's the mayor. Are you gonna sell him out like that and secretly record him trying to make more money off of that? Tut, tut, tut. So uh, now we don't know for sure that it's crack and his uh, spokespeople are saying, look, it could have been marijuana. Seems like a poor defense. <laughs> Okay, you know he's in the middle of a re-election campaign. For those of you who don't live in Canada, you're probably going to be shocked by that. He never resigned. The crack mayor just stayed in office. And in reporting this story, Globe and Mail uh, talks about how he seemed to have some erratic behavior in public since then. Hmm. But he said he was, uh, that, that time that he was on crack, oh, he just got really drunk that night, and he hasn't gone back on crack since then. No, no, his main problem and why he acts erratic sometimes is he gets loaded in the middle of the day. Oh, well, that makes me feel much better. <laughs> well, go ahead and get reelected. By the way, he isn't polling badly. Like I said, I just came back from Canada. I'm not kidding. And uh, the people there were telling me about the polls, and he actually was doing fairly well until this second episode. Now, of course, uh, his brother had said, oh, the media is making too much of this. The voters don't care about stuff like this. Really? The voters don't mind that their current mayor is on crack? <laughs> I mean, it's one thing to say, hey, man, look, youthful indiscretions and you smoked this or that uh, in the past, so what am I going to do? Well, who cares, right? Or you had sex with this person or that person in the past, whatever. The guy's on crack while being your mayor. That ought to be a slight cause of concern. You're sure he's making the right decisions in his sister's basement as he's hitting the crack pipe? <laughs> so uh, for the first time, they've actually taken some action. Um, Toronto Mayor Rob Ford spokespeople say that, uh, and in fact, he himself says, I have decided to take a leave from campaigning and from my duties as mayor to seek immediate help in my sister's basement. OK, he didn't add that last part. <laughs> OK. As my mom would say, thanks God, finally something has gotten through to him. When you're caught on camera twice smoking crack, that might be time to get some help. Okay, now, will the good people of Toronto re-elect him anyway? Look, you know what's funny is that as I was going to Toronto for a film festival, in the old days, you know, when you said you're going to Vegas or to Miami Beach, people were like, oh man, you're going to party, you're going to be crazy. When you said you're going to Toronto, people were like, oh, okay. Oh, well, I'll try to have fun, I guess. Right? <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with Toronto, but it didn't have like a wild image or anything like that. Now when I say I'm going to Toronto, people are like, oh dude, you gonna smoke some crack? <laughs> so do with that information what you will, the good citizens of Toronto, but that appears to be your new reputation as Rob Ford continues to be your mayor. So put that in your pipe and smoke it.